Hello friends, old and new. I realize that I have a lot of new subscribers this week because Diane Hubert at Pretty Pink Cottage did a flip through of one of my journals that she bought from me and it was so kind and gracious of her to do that and she sent many of you to my YouTube channel and an Etsy store and I have had a lot of orders come through this weekend and I'm so so humbled and and just amazed at the support that you guys have shown, shown me so thank you and if you're new here thank you for being here I hope that you will find something that makes you smile um, I just wanted to start out the video with a little bit of pardon my weed um, not doing very well with the weeding it has been so hot here I have not been outside a lot but we had a very much needed rain shower this morning and so I went outside afterward and took a few pictures and videos but um this video I will be doing a little tutorial so to speak or a little uh, at least a little video tutorial um, with a voiceover of how to make fabric snippet strips using drywall tape I saw this idea from another YouTuber about six months ago and picked up some drywall tape at my next trip to the home the uh, home improvement store and it works beautifully the drywall tape is flexible yet very substantial and so it holds up to uh, using it as belly bands or pockets or you know all of those things that we like to use snippet strips for and the rough surface of it is a perfect surface for adhering fabric to. Uh, so this is what I'm going to be doing here today. So I used just the Proform brand, which was the cheapest brand that they had at my home improvement store. And I cut it into a manageable length for sewing on the machine so that I think it ended up being about 18 to 20 inches long. And as you can see, the drywall tape does have a seam in the middle, but don't worry about that. That's fine. Just pretend like it's not there. And I used uh, just a regular glue stick, the one that I use for all of my junk journal projects that I use a glue stick for. And I cut fabric into, uh, I have a basket of scraps here on the left, and that's just where I throw all of my small offcuts of things that um, as I'm working. And I'm just putting a little bit of glue stick on each piece and it's just sort of a puzzle or a collage not so much overlapping but trying to meet edge to edge what you can do overlap you just need to make sure that you uh, sew those down uh, just because the glue sticks not going to hold it long term but on the top I tried to do a uh, snippet strip using mainly pastel and you know sort of muted colors and then on the one on the bottom I tried to do more bold you know reds and greens and, and royal blues and uh, it really is something that um, I love doing when I want to listen to a podcast or an audiobook or today I was actually listening to a a recorded sermon and I just sat down and started sticking things sticking the fabric down you don't have to do fabric you can do small pieces of paper you can also add other things like lace or ribbon uh, like I said it does not have to be all uh, fabric especially if you're going to do the step at the end that I show you with the sewing machine Anything that you put down that might have a little bit of heft to it or lift, uh, you can use the sewing machine at the end to make sure everything is tied down like it should and it won't start flying up on you when you cut it into manageable pieces for your project. Uh, as you can also see, I have two pair of scissors beside me. I have my regular cloth scissors and I also have my pinking shears. Neither of them are expensive. I think my sewing scissors are Fiskars brand and the I bought the pinking shears on Amazon. I think they were seven dollars and I think they were the Mr. Pen brand. But um yeah, they work fine. I don't my you know, I know 
a lot of people have really nice expensive sewing scissors and of course I don't sew um, for hours and hours every day so if I did I probably would invest in nicer scissors but I just have the Fiskars that I bought at Hobby Lobby and they work beautifully that is a little piece of vintage sheet and right here <laughs> I realized in a few seconds that I actually glued that piece upside down so that's another beauty of the glue stick it gives you a little bit of time to fix your mistakes that you make it's easier if these pieces are ironed but um, you can kind of work with them if they're wrinkled like that little strip I just pulled out just go slowly and make sure your glue gets to all the edges
I'm taking it over to the sewing machine and for the first one I decided to do a zigzag stitch with a white thread and I'm not measuring I'm just making three rows um, I think the last time I did these I made four rows so it's really just uh, depending on how many how big your pieces are and how many lines you need to hold them down And there you go that is one ready for you to cut up and use in uh, as a tag or as a, a pocket or a belly band or just a little embellishment on a page this one I chose an aqua thread and I'm running it with a straight stitch Thank you for joining me today for this little tutorial. I hope this helps you see what you can use around the house to make cool embellishments. I'll talk to you soon.